this is a response video to Dave's Electronics Lab, who thinks everything I'm saying is wrong and somehow not correct, um, and that somehow selling these coils for $299 is a scam. Um, I give the information for free on my YouTube community channel's post page on how to build it, and if you think someone that takes a little under half a day to grab a heat sink, drill and tap it, put in the newest generation high quality transistor chip, wire it all up, solder it, make it look neat. Those are pull down diodes, Baker clamp, um, clean switching diode, UF5408. The newer models even switch to silicon shock key diodes. So, I have to drill and tap that, wire the circuit, make it look clean and neat. And then when people get it, they get the ZVS to drive it and the battery. So, 300 bucks isn't that bad of a deal for it. And if you don't even want to buy it from me, you can build it yourself. So, I'm not sure what the issue is or what you think is a scam. And these things perform phenomenally well. As far as I'm aware, no one built the Tesla coil as tall as it is wide. And the effects are just stunning. Normal light bulb. That is extremely bright plasma. I've never seen anything like that. And again, I wish I had more of these, um... I blew all these little lights and have to order more LEDs. So, I'm not sure what you think is a scam, man. I mean, everything... We're partnered with the ESTC Group. We work on the theories of Eric Dollard, Ken Wheeler. Um, it's a real Tesla coil. We explore the Tesla sciences that are kept suppressed. I'm not sure what you think is a scam. Um, it all works exactly as described. We've had multiple people replicate what we have, and they're completely blown away by it. We've had people who bought our stuff, and they're blown away by it. So again, if I really wanted to, I could charge about 500 or a thousand bucks for these things because of the labor how, how do you think sales of anything works I probably make a 50 or 75 dollar profit on the sale of each coil and here's what it looks like under the board it doesn't even come on a board when people get it I just put it on a board for convenience so I can move it around and experiment with it so not sure what the deal is um, here's how under the desk looks So, yeah, not sure what you find to be a scam. It's just a Slayer. The coil, the, the circuit topology is a Slayer exciter. Um, that's a well-known circuit topology. So you can't, you can't argue that that's a scam. We're using a well-known Slayer exciter circuit topology with the newest generation transistor. And it, all we do different is we add a baker clamp to it for very rapid, clean transistor switching. Um, and we add the latest generation diodes. And a side act for negative resistance. But I blew my side act. That's the side act right there. Um, those two things in parallel is, are the side act. I have to replace them. So I'm not exactly sure what you think to be a scam. And again, if you don't want me to comment on your channel to look up what a Slayer Exciter circuit is, don't comment on my channel. So, it's exactly what it looks like. The Slayer Exciter circuit is pretty common all over the internet. All we did is apply that circuit as the driver for a Tesla coil that's as tall as it is wide and nearly built perfectly per Nikola Tesla, Eric Dollard, and Ken Wheeler's theories. Um, and for those who don't know, you can always check our video descriptions for full, detailed information on everything. And you can also check our community posts page for full, detailed information on everything. Again, another look at the crazy plasmas that form near this thing. And if you get the angle just right, absolutely crazy things occur. So, Tesla himself even said if you build a Tesla coil the correct way, Unknown phenomena will occur near it. Um, unknown electrical phenomena will occur near it. In gas bulbs, fluorescent tubes, even vacuum incandescent bulbs. 
um, anomalous power manifestations. So feel free to replicate it. And again, I'm not sure what you find to be a scam. And the sparks are almost a pure white blue, if there are any. So. So again, not sure what you find to be a scam. Um, I explained exactly what it is. Slayer Exciter Driven Tesla Coil. We add a baker clamp to it to make it faster switching. And we're using the cutting edge latest components. Just about the latest cutting edge components. Um, here's the box of them. The latest little transistor chips. The chips are very small. and can do remarkable things for the power going through them. And this is a very energy efficient coil. It dumps almost all of its power into free space. Minus the transistor losses. And we try and minimize that switching loss with the Baker clamp and the negative resistance injection, which I have to replace being the side act. So, again, many people have replicated it. Um, $300 is a pretty good price for something that takes about a little under half a day to build. I used to have a stockpile of them, but I don't anymore. I have to build more. So, I have to take a heat sink, drill and tap it, wire up the circuit neatly, build the coil, wrap the primary around it, which fights you every second of the way, put the zip ties on it, and wind the first coil neatly and cleanly, being this one. This is the Tesla coil that does the work. I mean, that's built pretty clean. Coat it with expensive uh, Kapton tape that has low dielectric loss. And to take the coils further, they're not going to be built on PVC. They're going to be built on HDPE firework mortar tubing for their highly, very low dielectric loss. So more of our energy won't be absorbed in the tubing and will go into free space. So, not exactly sure what you find to be a scam. Uh, this coil can do remarkable things. It can also light incandescent bulbs. So it's useful. A real Tesla coil is useful for many things. It can create wireless power, stunning effects. Um, it can light incandescent bulbs. And you can just, this is just from the back EMF of the primary coil. It lights an incandescent that you can play with on top of getting wireless power that I'll demonstrate. So that's still lit. And this should still light. Yep. So, not only are we lighting an incandescent bulb with the back EMF, we also can run a fluorescent tube and get stunning wireless power effects. So. You build a Tesla coil right, it just might act like a dielectric energy pump with the earth, and if you can get it right and master it right using Eric Dollard and Ken Wheeler's theories, you might get a device that becomes fully self-sustaining by pumping energy out of the earth once you earth ground it at a special spot. And earth grounding it improves the range and makes it more energy efficient. So look at the range with the earth ground. My range is about up to here with the earth ground. Now I'll remove the earth ground and we'll see the range. So the range definitely improved with the earth ground. Right about here. It was a little bit before the fan without the ground. Now with the ground it's past the fan. It's almost to the multimeters. And the intensity is higher. So, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon. And, um, yeah, at the end of the day, no one's forced to buy anything. I don't make much of a profit off these guys. I encourage people to build it for the schematics I provide for free. Um, if you want to buy anything, that's fantastic. Uh, I work full-time.
run this, uh, run a farm, take care of sick family members, so I'm not exactly sure what you find to be a scam. This is real Tesla coil research designed to push the boundaries of everything that's known and what's possible. So, just a battery, 0 to 120 volt DC ZVS, feeds our modified Slayer exciter circuit that produces all those effects. And again, we added a baker clamp to the transistor, an additional pull-down diode for clean switching, and a side act for negative resistance injection to make the oscillations as nearly self-sustaining as possible. So, that's that. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Patreon.